And uh, of course, I want to say I don't uh, uh, listen exactly what you said, uh, what I'm doing now. But now I'm a member of the parliament uh, with uh, a left-wing party, with Syriza, uh, a party that is coming very soon up, and we hope to be the next government. So, dear friends, uh, my speech is not going to be very pleasant because I have to start uh, giving you some figures of what is the situation in Greece in this moment. Uh, so, I have to know that Greece is stepping back from human rights since uh, May 2010, when the first loan agreement between Troika and the Greek government was concluded. The country was become almost a byword of structural adjustment and drastic labor market reforms across Europe. Financial support from the Troika has been based on reductions in public deficits and public spending, including drastic labor market reforms and an unprecedented deterioration of the welfare state, the worst in the post-war period. I give you some characteristics, uh, uh, some figures about the Greek reality. Unemployment in Greece is 27.6%, is the highest in Europe, and is uh, extremely high among young, young people that uh, arrive up to 60%. Collective bargaining system has collapsed, and 60% of all workers are paid according to the outcomes of individual employment contracts. Almost 150 young educated, uh, 150,000 young educated people have immigrated since 2010. Quite concerning is the fact that this figure represents almost uh, a huge percentage, a high percentage of the workforce of high skills and scientific capabilities. Private sector companies reduced wages by 40% average uh, through the introduction of company level collective agreements or individualized agreements with employees. In addition, six out of 10 companies delay to fully compensate their, employee, their employees on time. 46% of pensioners get a pension below 500 euro. The life in Athens and in Greece is still very expensive. Uh, undeclared work among Greek and immigrant workers from third countries has dramatically increased to 33%. The number of the people who live under the poverty li line uh, are increased enormous, enormously. Uh, in a country where the suicide was uh, a rather unknown phenomenon, uh, we have uh, a huge increase uh, in uh, suicide and attempts in suicide, suicide uh, that arrived uh, to 4,000 people during the last four years. The number of homeless people in Athens, something that never happened for decades and decades, uh, estimated to exceed 30,000. Public health uh, uh, problems are uh, great, are enormous, and uh, also, I have also, because I'm going to, to come back on that field, police violence, and xenophobic attacks uh, to immigrants have become endemic. Dear friends, a state achieves its objectives through projecting its power and demonstrating its strength by traditional diplomacy. Significant results are also achieved through mild policies, soft power, applying methods such as ideological penetration and promotion of cultural products. This method of cultural diplomacy achieves benefits or through state cultural mechanisms, mechanisms or private organizations. There are many schools of thoughts studying and trying to explain cultural diffusion and interaction among different population in a globalized world. Usually, is attempted a typological hierarchical classification of different types of culture, and also a study of the interaction as well as their final convergence to single unifying schemes. Historically, the global expansion, expansion of the industrial developed Western countries has been based on a great extent 
upon power and violence, uh, which was followed by cultural penetration, which in many cases was not mild at all. Therefore, cultural diplomacy was more a therefore, cultural diplomacy was more a manipulation process of conquered people, and uh, in the 19th century, cultural imperialism facilitated the integration of the colonies into the production process of their mother cities, and nowadays, the existence of unified cultural schemes drive to the expansion of markets and the cost reduction. In this sense, about 5,000 to 6,000 existing cultures worldwide are in danger. Cultural diversity and pluralism are being threatened. We can claim that cultural diversity is being threatened in the same way as the biodiversity. That happens because it is impossible to preserve cultures that do not correspond to existing social schemes with historical continuity. History is full, is full of disappeared civilizations dis replaced by others. The classical Greek culture has the advantage to have shaped basic concepts of the Western civilization. It has been the reference point of an international leading elite and still constitutes the core of the so-called classical education. The Greek language, for example, in its classic version, contributed to the formation of the scientific terminology, to the diffusion of Christianity, and has till today survived as a distinct cultural constant. Modern Greek culture has to face a great challenge. About 9% of the working population in Greece consists of immigrants who have been trying since the early 90s to integrate themselves to the local labor force. There are already second generation immigrants coming from parents of different cultures. The Greek society had to show tolerance and then try to absorb the new elements. At the very beginning, it seemed to be an easy process. The Greek society was trying to obtain multinational characteristics through an integration process for all immigrants. This process was marked by difficulties, labor and social discriminations, but still was an integration process. This process was reversed after 2009 due to the crisis. At the top of that discrimination, racism, anti-Semitism, xenophobia became dominant ideologies and practices. The main supporter of xenophobia, racism, and criminal behavior towards immigrants was the neo-Nazi party of Golden Dawn, which before the crisis had a voting rate below 1%, to be precise, it was 0 0.29, while in the elections of 2012, got a rate of 6.97%, with 441,000 votes and 21 out, out of the 300 parliamentary seats. The launching of the percentages of Golden Dawn came out of the abolition of social rights of great parts of population, particularly the young people, the collapse of labor relations, the increase of unemployment, and the social exclusion. The current crisis undermines the cornerstones of democracy, providing a fertile ground for the expansion of fascism and neo-Nazism. The fascist perception about culture can be summed up in the famous phrase of a hero of the play of Slagada of Hans Jost, saying, whenever I hear of culture, I pull out my browning. A phrase wrongly attributed to Goebbels or to Goerich, but it is quite certain that both repeated, in many, repeated this in many cases. Reality is totally different. Fascism has its own culture, which is uh, the aggressive demolition of any particular cultural characteristics. It is the culture of homogeneity and the obedience to a short-sighted perception of an imaginary folklore. In Greece, the culture of fascism, considered in the acceptance 
of old, cheap, populist rabbis trying to appear them as universal Greek values. I think that the acceptance, acceptance of different cultural characteristics allows the diffusion and penetration into different cultural groups. It helps mutual understanding and constitutes an important asset of the fight against fascism and racism. The Greek civilization has inherited a heavy cultural capital with main characteristics, the great power to absorb, the cap to absorb and the capacity to develop an efficient dialogue with all the other cultures that came close. It always achieved to accept the cultural elements considered as compatible with the temperament of the Greek world, to incorporate them creatively into its own core and to regenerate them in a prototype manner. It had always the manner and the strength to pave the way of the adoption of the Greek culture by populations settled throughout history in the Greek territory. Today, the situation due to the crisis is likely to be reversed. The contemporaneous Greek culture appears a weakness in coexistence with other cultures, and that leads the Greek culture to the margin of the world cultural process. This happens because the contemporary Greek culture cannot be supported by the cultural diplomacy of the Greek state as the country is under the turmoil of the institutional decline provoked by the financial crisis. It is very difficult for a country to support its international cultural presence when it abandons its popular folk culture to its fate and when, at the same time, the country tolerates the commercialization and plans to abolish public cultural institutions for fiscal and budgetary reasons. In order to achieve the above is to make them in, in the beginning inactive and untrustworthy by implementing policies stemming from the memoranda. The picture being completed is being completed uh, by the dangerous perception of the emerging neo-Nazism that favors a commercialized culture of mass stupidity promoted as a cultural model. In this case, the fiscal attack of the bailout programs is similar to the ideological aggression of the extreme right. In our opinion, the Greek and the other cultures corresponding to existing communities have to be preserved as elements of the global civilization. This is the point where the contribution of cultural diplomacy can to be focused. On the other hand, these societies have to accept the multicultural challenge and take it as an opportunity of their further development. Finally, cultures as historical and social phenomena have to be reinforced in order to confront the, the modern uh, challenges of a rapidly changing world and not to be left to the blind trends of the, and demands of the globalized markets. The question is, could culture function as a, a counterbalance not only to the Greek crisis, not only to the South European crisis, but also to the, to the upcoming European one. I believe, uh, I believe it could be achieved within the frame of a new type of broader growth policy. The adoption of the new productive and consumption models as a new type of growth should be, should be in target, should be our target. The growth should be also based upon broadening and upgrading uh, of cultural offerings and production, not in a sense of a product, but in a sense of the cultural dimension of the people's participation in shaping new quality of life. I am talking about a cultural renaissance as a, an antidote to the crisis and as a powerful tool of growth of growth. The key factor of that cultural renaissance could be the mass participation of citizens in the production and diffusion of culture, mass participation as an interactive social procedure and not as a mass consumption of cultural products. Dear friends, in the neighbors of the Greek cities, flourishing 
cultural activities can be already appeared, have already appeared, with initiatives of the local societies as a counterbalance to the crisis and to the isolation that the government of the memoranda and the fascism who want to impose. Theaters, paintings, arts, music, dance, a new type of cultural network is coming up in the country. This new cultural wind will meet the forces of an, a propose, or, or, or that, uh, the forces that are proposing a new growth model to exit from the crisis and together they will hammer a new productive social and cultural reality. Concluding, concluding I want to point out that since the crisis is not exclusively, exclusively a Greek phenomenon, its uh, expansion threatens the whole Europe. According to this reality, the cultural diplomacy could be, in the long run, one of the tools to overcome the crisis. Preconditions are the cultural, the cultural mediation, development, and exchange of great cultural Europea European traditions, avoiding products of extreme commercialization, for example, like Disneyland, that are promoted by economic establishment. Cultural diplomacy should not obey to the ephemeral needs of a casino economic system, serving the interests of financial institutions, of greedy bankers, and of, and of voracious markets. That's why I believe with uh, sincere, stable, long-term, and well-planned cooperation, we can succeed. Thank you very much.